hi guys hi everyone hey my loves how are you doing welcome back to my channel and if you are new here if this is your first time here my name is aisha do well to click on the subscribe button so it's not gonna be your last time of being on here and for my returning subscribers how are you guys doing so today you guys we have a special guest in the house <laughs> my name is she for me um i have best friend abio yeah she's my best buddy guys we have actually been friends since like um maybe. like five years now are you serious 2013 <laughs> yes now since 2011 he's <laughs> the counting oh my god he's the counting of oh, we've years. actually been friends oh god oh my god <laughs> so you guys on this video we're gonna be talking about you know life since moving into the uk how things has been cost of um you know cost of living here as well as accommodation rent culture shock and um you know the major things that you're expected to do the most important things that you are expected to do immediately you get to the uk okay so my friend is a student and i'm a dependent here yeah? so you are going to be having two perspectives Perspective. of you know different our views exactly yeah. two perspectives of our story of how everything has been the things that you should have the things that we wish we had We're done doing. the other way around yeah and the things that you should do the things that you should also anticipate so you guys you guys this is gonna be a super packed video okay so you want to sit back relax and pick everything that you can pick because trust me you're going to have more than enough to pick from this video okay so yeah let's just dive right into the video babe alpha how are you I'm good. <laughs> My friend is going to start off by telling us how it has been since moving into the UK. So, how has life been generally? Okay, generally, it's been good, not so bad, it's enjoyable, but um, I'm a student. I regret to the UK a few months ago to start my master's. I'm currently having my master's at international business and human resource management in Leicester City here and honestly it has not been really easy I'm not trying to I, I really don't want to be too negative but I'm going to be as honest as possible mm -hmm. okay it's I I move it to the I, I regret to the UK with two kids okay let me just say two to last my first is less than three and my second is just over a year. One year yes so um the major challenge has been me going to school, my husband working and fitting in our schedules to work, making our schedule work together. It's it's been a lot. The truth, major truth is that if you're not mentally stable, it's very easy to fall into depression. Like you're going it to is. be so drained. It is because there will be days you okay. I'm talking because I'm a mom of two. It's a lot for me to handle. There will be days where I'm like God, why? And there are days why you see the things they are doing and i know it's it's worth it mm -hmm. like if i'm to make this decision over and over and over and again i'm I, not I going to think it yes. exactly even though it's been a roller coaster, a roller coaster. Yeah, yeah it's eyes not been closed. easy yes physically eh it is better for you to just prepare your mind that it is when i'm coming here like getting here is gonna be tough like your first because your first year student, especially there, are, there are so many there are more there are okay i don't want to use the word disadvantage but there are some um obstacles mm -hmm. like now you, you only get to work 20 hours in a week mm -hmm. then two you you go to school you have assignments you have dissertations you have projects to write you have you want to work you want to earn money you don't want to be a um, liability to your husband you want to, be able to um, assist with the um, bills in the house and all of that actually sorry babe you guys it's not we're not just gonna be talking about you know being married okay yeah. we're also gonna be talking generally for the people that are not married yet and they are willing to relocate they to are the trying to relocate okay i'm a mom of one and she's a mom of two okay we are gonna be talking about our perspective and also we are also gonna be talking about how it's going to how you are going to make life easier yeah. how you're gonna make relocation mm -hmm. easier for you and then you're coming as a married couple or, or you are coming as person. a single person okay yeah. so do not think that because we have been talking about you know mom related wife related stuff 
it's not for you it's definitely for, for you just you. keep calm and um Enjoy. you know just chill okay you yeah know. and another thing is that okay if you are coming to um, to UK as a student, I'm a student. If we're coming to the UK as a student, you have to know that there are some things that in Nigeria you can choose not to go to class, but yeah, your attendance is important. If you miss 70 percent of your attendance, mm -hmm. they will send your um, name to your home, um, to your home, se home security. So what do they call this? Mm -hmm. They are reporting you because the main reason home security, like yes, back home in yes, Nigeria. Nigeria. Are you serious? Yes. Because the main reason. So for a student, you have yes, to yes, you wow. do. So you have to that the main reason why you came to our is, country yeah. to come and study. So, so if, why if, because classes? Um, we have um, ID cards that we mark attendance from each lecture. So if you don't meet up to some people the, of your attendance. Again, back to Nigeria, is it? It's not even a question. But every immigrant know, every student immigrant they know because that's the first thing they, they tell us. Yeah, that. they have to meet certain people of your attendance, and you can't work more than twenty hours a week. Because Please, some, don't, some don't, students, don't get scared, okay? Students, we are starting with the yes, pros. Yes. We are still going to tell you, you know, the cons and you know some the students do that part because of you know, the So don't get 20, scared. <laughs> working 20 hours in a week is 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 not much mm -hmm. because they believe you have to dedicate most of your time to. Your and that is why if you are working your visa as a student, they ask you that how much you have in your accounts. They expect you to already have your filling allowance with you. So it's not as if you are coming to the UK to and make the money. money. Yeah. Yeah. So part of the documents are submitting your account statement. You so already this, have your account. This majorly is just telling you that you just have to be financially buoyant exactly. before you can even think that I want to travel abroad. Because either you are, you are coming as a student or you are coming to work, okay? You all you are coming as a dependent. You have to be financially stable, not only because of you know school related. Or yes, whatever. because even as a student, because socially, it's difficult to get job. If you, you don't get the job to, on time, it's so imagine how coming, not having money, hoping that when you get, you start working. And aside that, and you don't the, get the, the job. pressure from trying to rent, trying to do this and that. If you don't have money, you guys, it's not going to be easy. Like it's really going it's to really drain you, water. okay, mm -hmm. mentally, physically, financially. You know, there are so many lily li li that you have to be prepared <laughs> for before you get into the country. Yeah. So we are talking about the positive part of it mm -hmm. now. Okay, so it's um when we um one of the happy thing, one of the things that keep me pushing like okay, there is light at the end of the tunnel is that moving to the UK it's 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 a good thing. It's if you um aspire to aspire <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> ma to Maguire. I read it from friend What do I call it? With, it's a we actually finished from the same yes, school. From the same yeah, we've been friends for more than ten years. years now. Yeah, ten years. Ten. It's we've actually been ten for years a Like for a whole decade, you guys. It's 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 a lot. Please give it's, us a it's round of applause. Not easy, but it's been a long time yes. coming. So we have a lot. In fact, I think we should do a friendship tag. What do you think? Do you guys like to see because that? Because we can do that. It's been ten like, years. Like, please comment down below if you like us to have a friendship tag. Okay, mm -hmm. so we have lots of things to, to share. Say. Yeah, I think we should actually how to do make that. friendships survive. Yeah, like how to cope with you know yes. losing friends because we're actually at the stage that we've literally lost all our friends. Yeah, Honestly, so we really need to discuss that. With that. <laughs> it's not only you, babe. You know we are just together. Like who else? Why not? I think we should actually do it. Yeah. That. Please let me know in the comment section if you like. To see that okay we are going to tell you our history yeah the I'll things that we've been to through together before. yeah <laughs> so i'm um, back to our discussion we're talking about the positivity okay. of going to the uk it's it, like see you that okay now i started my master's in international business and resource management mm -hmm. then a few weeks ago they said she for me going to tech do the, do the analysis there's there's just one um the um the building next to my my own faculty, mm -hmm. to register students, as long as they say of that of that university, mm -hmm. register you, then you do part time. It's just easy for you That's to do. That's for tech, oh. Yeah, it's for and tech. And you guys know how much money is in tech. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's move to, you know, once you get here, definitely you need a place to stay. Mm -hmm. That's the most important thing, mm -hmm. and it's even the number one most challenging thing. It's okay, very, very because challenging. everything you do in the UK, everything, everything before you even start is anything, a place. To where you are staying. Mm -hmm. Let's discuss how to now get that accommodation, guys. Hmm. 
Look, Mindy, hi. It's not easy. Oh God. <laughs> Honestly, it is it's, not easy. It's one of the See, major challenges. It is, things. in fact, it is a major challenge when you come here. You're expecting of how much you have in your account. This is it. It doesn't even matter if you have if you are a billionaire or anything. It is very, very difficult. There are steps. I'm not gonna sugarcoat. Like we we, we mm-hmm. are we'll not sugarcoat this for you because we have first hand experience. experience. <laughs> First hand experience on this, it is not easy. So you need to prepare your mind that coming to the country, you might not get your apartments like ASAP. You might not right. get for her, they do not get the apartments from first viewing. Okay, they, they check different apartments before they could finally mm-hmm. get, get the one that they now. actually yeah. So for me, it was quite the opposite. Okay, we actually did got the apartment from the first viewing. So now the question is now that. Why does it now still take me so long, okay? Even so though I it. got the apartment from mm-hmm. the first viewing, why did it take me so long before I could move into the house? This is basically because guys, they are the checking. Mm-hmm. The document checking was actually very a lot insane. of process. It took a lot of like it took lots of days, okay? So just zero your mind, book for one month straight for your airbnb is, is really going to save you a lot of stress lots of headache at least you'll still be like okay i have the next one month i have a roof over my head for the next and one another month. honest truth is that you might not always get the place that you want don't be discouraged it is not even you might not see don't be discouraged don't feel like your rent, is falling on you your first rent mm-hmm. of where you're gonna be staying once you move to the uk Trust me, it's always somewhere it's, you can it's at least manage. Not going so to by the time you pay your grant, that's no. If I would have, th- by the time you pay your next place, maybe after six months or, or one year, you would have know the area you love. Uh-huh. You would have know the location best for you. You would have known what to do. You would have so just in short, just try as much as possible to lower your expectations mm-hmm, exactly. of the apartment and make it a home. Be, be happy with your because family. if you really want to settle down. As soon as possible okay like you want to have your mind at rest you just have to lower your expectations of what you want in an apartment i'm not saying lucky. that you should now eventually go for mm-hmm. you know something that you wake up in the morning and then you'll be extremely sad every day no that's you not what i'm saying but at least yeah. still lower your expectations okay so that so it like doesn't make you feel frustrated exactly like, so that you can get something higher as soon as you'll possible. be very happy so yeah exactly. this will now bring us to the tips on how to get an accommodation as fast as possible okay guys i've actually done a video on this here that i i did made a whole lot of um tips I, I dropped a lot of tips for how to get an accommodation as fast as possible so because of for the sake of the people that are seeing that video okay that has like that that has seen it and digested the video i'm not gonna mm-hmm. repeat everything all over again okay so, and then my friend is also gonna share a perspective yeah so um, the advice that you can give the advice i can give mm-hmm. is that be sure that you will need a guarantor mm-hmm. not all the time but at least just have someone you know that can stand for you so that by the time you need that person you won't have to start I'm running out of Yeah, so get a guarantor standing here, yeah, yes. standby. Yeah, somebody that can stand for you. Maybe somebody that, for us, for somebody that has that owns a home in the UK. Yeah. Then another thing was that there's somebody that needed that has good credit history in the yeah. UK. So that's another thing. Then I think another tip that I will I will give is that don't just stay online and be looking for. There are agencies. Go to the. Yes, go to well. their outlet. Yes. Into their yes, because if you go to their outlet, they will give you like files. They have different locations because if you just check online, you are only seeing one. Mm-hmm. But if you go to their agency, their and outlet, then trust me, checking mm-hmm. online, you are not gonna be seeing um viewing like you can't be viewing every time. You could view a house today, and then the next viewing that you would be exactly. able to get the book. And if you go to their agency, like in the next they can one take it to three places in a day. In a day, so because they will take it to all the places to that they are in outlet. charge that they are managing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that was what actually helped us because yeah, that was how they were able to get their apartment. Exactly, yes. And also, be ready to pay at least six months ahead, especially if you're a student. This is very crazy because, because they, they believe, believe that yes. you don't have the money. You are coming here to study. And you know you are restricted to number you are not of time, be working. The number of hours you can. Work. Yeah, you are restricted to how long you can work. So mm-hmm. that means that limited money. And sometimes yeah. you don't get jobs. So you time. need to be ready to pay at least. I'm not advising anybody to pay six months. But have it with you. But just have it as a plan B in case you have been looking for houses and everything that you've been seeing. They kept on saying that 
bring six months bring six months so you don't get frustrated like you guys i kept on saying frustration because, <laughs> because it's the real. frustration is real <laughs> if you're not prepared you're gonna be frustrated and frustration eventually leads to anger anger leads to depression Abby? Mm-hmm. I hope that my theory is right. Oh yeah, I think I need to chip this in to the battery. Hey guys, sorry I got cut off. My battery died. So yeah, if you're getting an apartment, just make sure that you check the energy rating. Actually, as high as the energy rating is, that is how much money you have to pay. Yeah, so just check the energy rating. They are A, B, C, D, E, F. No, there is no F. I think it's E. I'm not quite sure. I think it got to F. I'm not sure, but. I'm very starting that you get to eat your head. Exactly. So check the energy rating. It's just like distinction to you know um very poor, poor. So you get so A is the best, B blah blah. But also bear in mind that the better the energy rating, the more the money. But on the long run, it's going to actually make sense. So yeah. Now let us move to bills. Okay paying bills okay. <laughs> first of all you guys see in uk you just have to make sure that you offer any lights that you are not using like if you're not in a particular room you don't have any business fact, at some in point it will be part of you and you in, don't do it oh as you're going you're pressing, as you're going, you're pressing. <laughs> you don't I'm have any business switching. in leaving the switch on oh. if you're not in the room because <laughs> as you are leaving the yeah, being on, as you go. at the end of the month your bill it's going to be it's going to come and smite you like this it's hey, you know, that i live in less uh, and let's say it's one of the most affordable i don't want to say cheapest mm-hmm. but it's one of the most affordable place yeah. to, to, to live um, I, I get african food fresh titles fresh goods meat fresh everything less Brit- british people live in leicester because everybody mm. lives in london everybody yeah, lives manchester. in manchester everybody lives in you know those all those big big name places so <laughs> So because of that, the the cost of living in Leicester is generally low compared to that. But when I told someone how much I got a three bedroom, three bedroom duplex with garden, with garage, with car park, one thousand two. So what it was like? Are you serious? You guys did hear that? And some of you that are actually my, my living room is how special. Much, how much? This, this is my, this my, now. You this my you dining area. Garage, yeah, that's yeah, the garage. My kitchen is my kitchen is big. I have three rooms, three bedroom, mm-hmm. and I pay one thousand two hundred pounds per month. Makes sense, though. makes sense. Because I know somebody in London paying almost two thousand five hundred for a two <laughs> for a two bedroom. <laughs> so Not basically, big. just cut your coat according, according to your, your size. size. You, and you can actually live London live in Leicester. It's everywhere. I be yeah, anywhere actually, anywhere. The more you have houses that are high then you have houses that are low it just depends mm-hmm. on where you want where you what want you and want, what you can afford how much you have and exactly. something that will not choke you so that you're not working and you're using all your money to mm-hmm. pay rent because and you're still spending now exactly mm. yeah so yeah you guys that is that by the way just for accommodation cut your coat According, according to your size. size don't do more than you can it's never too much and it's never, it's too, never too small it's exactly. never too much just do it's what all, you can yeah. and then for the first year you can bend as much as you can as you get to be more accustomed in the system you're going to adjust you're going to be more comfortable yeah, work, exactly you'll be making money you're mm-hmm. making money in pounds now not in naira exactly not, not your naira that you brought from nigeria <laughs> So this will now bring us to the last part of the video, which is important things that you're supposed to do once you arrive in the UK. Either as a student, either as a worker, dependent, or whatever. As long as you are a UK resident, as long as you're just, you know, you're just arriving in the UK, here had a few, here had the list of the important things that you need to do. Okay. As you are just getting into the country, say for instance, the first few days that you are here, you are gonna have to buy some things. Okay, this period you can't go and open and your most bank places. <coughs> this period uh, you can't go and policy. exactly this they period don't collect cash. This period you can't go and open a bank account yet because you probably don't have your NIN. Um, you probably don't have your BRP or you know the things that you are going to need in the bank you probably don't have a residential address so the first thing that you are going to have to start off with is an online bank mm-hmm. okay so you have to have an online banking I use Revolut. that is what yeah there are several ones there is Revolut, there is wise there is um monzo yeah monzo yeah so there are several of them so i would really advise you that 
Probably before you get to the country, open an online account with those banks, okay? Then they will make sure that you have their card. card. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna have the card. So once you get here, that will be easier for you to swipe and you know pay your bills, spending the time that you're going to have everything sorted, you know. Okay, so another thing is that you have to get a SIM card. You know, you need to call your family back at home now. Like, hello, Motide Low you go, Motide you kill. Am you are alright though? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to get a SIM card. For me, when we we're having the registration and everything, you know, when we we're going through the whole process, they did give us a SIM card at where, you know, at the UKVI, yeah, you, they gave us a SIM card, yeah, so, but I think, did they give you guys a no. SIM card? You guys got it when yeah, you got here, yeah, yeah. so, if you were given while you were doing the whole, you know, travel process, fine, and if you were not given, once you get here, you can easily you buy, buy a SIM, SIM card. card, yeah, so, Another thing is you have to collect your BRP, you know, that's your biometric residence permit. Mm -hmm. Your BRP is linked to everything that you do here. It's you can't very even important. do anything without You can't do anything without the BRP, mm -hmm. yeah. So BRP. if I say that's the first thing they will give you because they know you can't do anything without Yeah, you, for a student you are going to collect it in the in school, school. But well, if I know a student you have to go to a postal card. No, even for some students they post them so they will they tell you them, they will tell you where it yes okay for myself I let my own my school. I think actually for a student all these things it's are very easy. Yeah. To all, all the, everything mm -hmm. together. But I went to the post office to you know collect my BRP and stuff. Then also you need to get a rail card or bus card. Okay. Because Uber is not cheap. As in it's not cheap. It's not cheap. <laughs> it's very so you, you to... it should no matter how, how short your trip is. I think the lowest it can be is like 4 point something. 4 point something. Like it's not 4, Gong Gong. Mm -hmm. It's 4 point something. Yeah. Like. Transporting, transporting here is very easy. It's not like the one that you are used to back home. Okay. Moving from here to here is very, very easy. Like, mm -hmm. you get the buses come, you know, once you get I mean, to the bus. I mean, in the UK, you will do a lot of working. As in, once you, you get to the bus stops, at least the, the interval for the buses to come are like three minutes. Mm -hmm. So you're not gonna have to wait for so for long. So long. So it is very in fact you will even sit down in the bus and be chilling. Like it's it's, it's very and the convenient. Bus is always cozy. Yeah. So get a bus card, get a rail card. You also have to download this rail the train happens. line. Mm -hmm. Train line app. So it is on the train line app that you're gonna have to book your tickets for whenever you want to go on a journey and Another good part is that you can always view your journey in that app. Yeah. yeah. So you know you can another part is of course we've discussed this before. Get an apartment. It is very, very important. Yes. Everything you do is linked to the apartment. Yes. Then apply for NIN. Yeah. NIN is the national identification number. It is very important. It is also linked to the things that you're gonna be doing here. Even before you do NHS, even before you work for the NIN. Even before you them start um, NHS. That's why I've not they, mentioned it. Before you get to NHS NIN. and Hall, yes. you, you see I've already listed it because mm -hmm. you, you have to start from these things before it's you like can get to it. Exactly. It's a process. Mm -hmm. If you don't have, you can't jump from number five. Like number one, you can't jump from there to number nine. You're going to go back to number two. Yeah. Like you just have to follow the process. So yeah, after getting the apartment, then you register with NHS. Registering with NHS is very very important because I don't imagine a real go emergency. May God <laughs> make we not see emergency, <laughs> but it's even very important. Like everybody has to register with NHS, I believe. It's even yeah. compulsory. It's very compulsory. Yeah. So once you get once you get registered with NHS, then once you now you know get your apartment, you can register with your GP as well. That's very yeah. important. Like that's like the nearest hospital near you. you. Then another thing is open a proper bank account. It's actually easy to open an account. It's very easy. Like yeah, just do everything. Go everything is virtual. Do everything and online. The thing is that the student there are some accounts that you cannot open. Mm. Yes, yes. As a student, there are some account out. So the best account. Let me just give you some of the best account for students that they will not even ask you for house resident permit all of that. Open uh -huh. chase for a student account. Yeah, open chase bank. Well, open normally, Lloyd. not for chase. Any which for chase bank, don't ask you for any which your ARP and your face. Is that simple? So any which account, way, account, so open a bank thing. account. You know, after doing the all, mm -hmm. you know, all the process and all, then after this, you cannot apply for a job. A bit kilotuku. You don't get BRP. You don't get house. Get for you me, have a bank you account. Can even start then, applying for job before that I time. Think. Because don't miss out on your discount. See, for a student, if you are buying, it, sure you know. Mm -hmm. For a student, if you are buying anything, you are doing anything, you have discounts on everything. See, they, that brought, you get... they brought council tax um, bill 
for us our bill they brought us 1200 and something pounds like almost 1003 pounds and as a student i'm not entitled to pay council tax until i finish on my half there's there's a letter from school immediately i just entered their mail that one thousand three. So don't even do it yourself. As a student, you have unlimited yes. discounts on everything. All you need to do even is to for ask. Bus. Ask. Ask. Even when you are in bus. school, when ask. For bus yes, too. now for both yeah, too, you discount. discounted. Yeah. Don't do it yourself. Ask if you don't. If you don't understand something, if you don't know something, ask. Don't go and be missing out on you, all your discounts. Not this good. Just trust me, as a student, that one year that you're gonna be studying, you enjoy it. Enjoy it. Get all the discounts that you can. So yeah, hopefully you guys are able to pick one, one or two, or two. things. It's, I'm definitely sure that it's gonna be more than one or two. But yeah, that's just a figure of speech. A lot of people might still have more questions. Just drop it out in the comment section. I'm gonna have a and look. please, if by this time no, you're not you're subscribed, not Okay. Don't, I, let me I, say I that. Much, yeah? <laughs> hey, by this time, you know it's what are you still waiting what for? What are you still waiting Go for? You will, know, you will know the people that watch my vlogs because so much. Because this will really, really help me a lot. It will help me have oh, a lot. Oh, my so, friend. So, subscribe. Tell your friend to subscribe. Yeah, like this video as well. If you really liked it already. Yeah. Like, what, what are you waiting, waiting for? for? For watching, no, sorry, I think I should actually give the sign out to my friend. Yeah, sign out. <laughs> oh, like I was saying, uh. okay, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, do like, subscribe, tell your friend about our vlog, help my friend out. Yeah, <laughs> okay, I'm really you. going to appreciate it. Thank yes. you so much. Bye. Bye.